Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today, you know, for Arizona, this Katie Hobbs, I don't like the bitch. Yes, I call her that, especially now with this gun thing. You think you manipulative? You think Arizonans are stupid? Oh, hell no. Nah. And now you got Project Veritas doing God's work, bringing your ass to light. You know, bringing all your hypocrisy to light. So hey, today we're going to react to... Um, Project Ver um, Veritas's um, video being captured and uh, basically by uh, the um, campaign manager of Katie Hobbs and Colin Noir, Noir um, his reaction to it. And um, we're going to just go ahead and dive deep deeper with what he says and what she says, because when it comes to guns and when it comes to Democrats and their double speak, I do not like them mainly because of this reason. Y'all think y'all, y'all think we are stupid. You think we can be manipulated into literally giving up our own rights? Not, nah. no, you do not undermine. You don't, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me not get all worked up right now. Let's see. Let's go into the video and then come back and get worked up. Is that an AR-15? Easier to fire than a handgun. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's kind of scary. That's why it's scary. So the guy with the AR-15 in this video you just watched is Joe Wolf. Joe Wolf is the head political consultant for the Katie Hobbs campaign. Katie Hobbs is a Democrat who is currently running to be the governor of Arizona. You see, Katie Hobbs is one of those I just want common sense solutions to end gun violence types, which is code for I really want to ban them all, but I have to make myself look and sound like I'm being reasonable. So He's 100% right. Their way of being reasonable is literally taking away your guns. Because to her, it's reasonable to live in America, a place that she deemed is so safe um, and no crime happens. It's reasonable for her to stop crime, to stop killings, especially when it comes to children, by limiting your rights to protect yourself. And if you live in Arizona, not everybody lives in the Phoenix area, okay? There are wildlife out there who, that's very uh, not friendly towards humans. And this woman thinks that she can come in and take away Arizonans uh, right to just basically self be self um, sufficient and self-defend themselves against not only people, but the wilderness. Like this lady needs to go. Can get more votes. You see, in one breath, she'll say this. There seems to be no push to do anything different than we have. And that's to ignore bills we have put forward that would bring about common sense solutions to end gun violence. There's, you're right. There shouldn't be anything. Do you not understand what the word shall not infringe means or do you need to go back to school okay nothing should be done but when the supreme court struck down new york's concealed carry law that basically made it impossible for anyone in new york to get a concealed carry license she wrote this like the majority of americans arizonans and gun owners who support responsible and reasonable safety measures i'm outraged at today's supreme court ruling as we continue to most Arizonans and American and gun owners who support responsibility and reasonable safety measures, they're not out. They're not outraged about the uh, Supreme Court's ruling. They're like, thank God for the Supreme Court to give back New Yorkers their rights as human beings to self defend themselves and with a gun. Most Arizonans I know, that's how they feel about the situation. This bitch, you don't speak for Arizonans. You do not. And you most definitely do not speak for responsible and reasonable um, gun owners who support, uh, you know, responsibility and safety measures. No, no one I know, especially, especially with just being a veteran, no one I know when I go to the range acts stupid on the gun range. They are very responsible. They know good and well these are weapons I need to re be respected because of how deadly they are. It's only the individuals who are in the hood, who thugs, who don't give a shit about human life, the ones who are just so callous with human life, those are the ones who don't give a damn and do not respect the... The, the dangers of such a weapon, okay? And this heinous killings across the U.S., including right here in Arizona, leaders continue to refuse to take action and the Supreme Court's decision makes protecting our communities that much more difficult. 
As a mom, I share the concern of my fellow parents who are living in fear every day that their child won't come home from school or that their family member won't make it home from the grocery store. We need common sense gun safety reform right now so that we can finally end these senseless acts of violence that are murdering our children and taking innocent lives. Huh? What does that have to do with- That definitely sounded like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> their ability to conceal carry. So ask yourself, why would Katie Hobbs, who claims she just wants common sense solutions to end gun violence, be so angry about the Supreme Court saying that the people in New York should have the right to get a concealed carry permit, especially when Arizona doesn't even require a permit to carry? Banning people's right to carry a gun for protection isn't a reasonable common sense solution. It's extreme as hell, but that's what Democrat politicians like Katie Hobbs do. They feed you soft and reasonable words in order to get you to unknowingly vote for extreme anti-gun policy. I'm not making this up. Project Veritas literally exposes it with this video. Here is her head political consultant, Joe Wolf, discussing Hobbs' position on gun control. Would Katie support something like an assault weapons ban? If she could, yeah. I mean, that's probably that's a federal issue, right? Right. Um, or like if something came down in the states. Yeah, because I noticed like Kelly's kind of open about it, and I know Katie said like, oh, she supports gun reform, but I, I haven't heard anything explicit. Is that more just because, is there like a big difference between sort of the- Policy-wise, no, between the people, so much it's just because it's a federal issue. And like, you know, there's nothing she could do about it. Right. Damn right, not a damn thing she can do about it. Why? Because that is our second amendment immediately, right, instead of kind of advocating for it publicly, which is really more impactful once you're governor. So it's kind of like, this state of Florida is crazy and like the so we're not going to take the beat for it before she can do anything about it. Oh, so if she mentioned it publicly, that would not be good? I don't think, I don't think no. more likely than not. Because I haven't been in Arizona too long, so I don't really know. Like, he would never say something like Tom Allen and Congressman, Democrat, the politics. Never. Really? Because you know the reason why they know they wouldn't say anything like that? They would never get elected in Arizona. That's why they never run on any platform when it comes when it comes to gun reform. You would not be welcomed in Arizona if you are I don't care what party you are on. If you're up for gun reform, that's the platform you are running on in Arizona. That is a sure way for you to lose. Because I don't know, like I said, I know a lot of military um, presence in Arizona, a lot of former DOJ in Arizona, and we love our guns. So this Katie person, the, the fact that you would, knowing, knowing that Arizonans love their guns, the fact that you would purposely, purposely not... Um, say anything about gun reform and wait until you do um, wait until you do wait until you're elected as governor to make a play at gun reform it is very manipulative you should never be elected you should never even be allowed like, you know and it's like I'm really I know this is really extreme but I honestly believe those who would undermine our constitution, our bill of rights, they should never be allowed to run for office. How dare you? If you do not stand, if you do not support what our country was built upon, what our country was found upon, you should not be allowed to run. If your whole, um, if your whole plan is to tear it down at its foundation, you should be tried for treason for that. If, if it was me, that's how extreme I am when it comes to protecting our constitution, our bill of rights. Why? Because we are, we are a nation of immigrants and I want as many immigrants who come here legally to be able to continue on in this great country when it comes to this social experiment, because it has helped and it has helped so many people come here and, um, to, um, basically fulfill the American dream. It has, build so much upward mobility and getting them out of poverty and i'd be damned if i will have it undermined by fuckers like this if you don't like our laws if you don't like our system don't run go somewhere else go to another country and i'm pretty sure with you being a politician you probably have millions to do so to get up and go to another country but i will not allow you to sit here and try to take away american god-given rights to protect ourselves and everything else so this is the reason why she will never 
Mark my words, Carrie Lake will win and this bitch will never, now this is out in the open, she will never, ever, 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 ever be governor. And yes, I'm not sitting here saying that I don't feel some way about the kids that, you know, passed away the shootings and all this other stuff. I am not saying that that is okay, but you do not correct that by taking guns away from individuals because a lot of these guns, the, a lot of these places where there is strict gun control, that's exactly where people who do not care about your laws, who do not abide by your gun control who, laws, who get them through under, do, through black markets, through the deep web, and they go straight directly to these gun controlled, um, um, and, um, gun controlled zones to, and, and just, they just wreak havoc. They come with nothing but destruction and they will kill without any impunity because there is no one there to put them in their place. I'll be damned if I let you happen to let you let that happen to Arizona. Fuck that. That bitch should be, if there was dueling, I swear, if there was dueling still around, I would take her out into El, <laughs> into the damn desert and be like, you want to take our guns? Okay, let's settle this right now. Okay. I, I wonder who will be fast on the trigger and no, you can't use a substitute. No, you cannot use a substitute to stand in. It'll be me and you, Katie Hobbs. If dueling was around these types of people, this is how they need to just, I feel, oh my God, I know this is like borderline dangerous, but I'm like, look, these individuals who come in and just want to just destroy our, our way of life and they're American on top of that. I don't like them. They should just be tried for trees and get the fuck out of here. Like, no, no, no. But anyways, that's just uh, my spiel on that. Sorry for getting a little bit heated, but I really do love my guns and I really do like protecting myself because it's, in my opinion, the greatest equalizer in the world. No, no one I know who has a gun is, um, is, will use it, you know, uh, like gangsters do. But I promise you, if a gangster try to come run up on us, oh, we lock loaded and ready and they will stop dead in their tracks because they respect, they respect the gun. They know good and well what lead can do to, to their fragile body. So in my opinion, it's the greatest equalizer got put on this planet. Well, put in someone's mind who then developed and gave it out to the world, <laughs> um, <laughs> for the world so that they can defend themselves. But let, let's see what else this individual has to say. Really? Cause that's such a big issue here, huh? Right. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. Wolf tells our journalist that Hobbs would support an assault weapon ban if she could. This conversation happened following Wolf driving our journalist around with an AR-15 in the car. The, the hypocrisy. Flat out, these Democrat politicians are anti-gun and want to pass extreme gun control laws, but no, they can't say it out loud because it will hurt their chances of getting elected. But once they're in office, they can then start passing gun control laws like a gun control law passing party. That was literally the political consultant for Katie Hobbs' campaign saying this. The same guy rolling around with an AR-15 in his car and calling it a crowd controller. Is that an AR-15? That is an AR-15. Yeah, he had it broken down in the backpack when we started. He just pulled it out. It can fit in a backpack? Yeah, this, this folds down. It's a crowd controller. Easier to fire than a handgun. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's kind of scary. That's why it's scary. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry. Like that, that, the hypocrisy of that. So you want to take our rights and our ability to defend ourselves all while you drive around with an AR-15 in your fucking car to what? Protect Katie Hobbs? Get the fuck out of my, I swear to God. People like them need to just be destroyed. And I'm glad Project Veritas is doing the work of God and making sure these fucking snakes, these slithering belly animals on the, you know, animals with their bellies on the ground, just no good for nothing. Just, they just hate society, hate humanity. These individuals need to be dealt with. And honestly, they will with our vote since that's the only way we can do anything. But um, anyways, that's just my reaction to Katie Hobbs. And I can't wait till November 8th. I can't wait to just rub it in her face and say that bok bok chicken head. You were never going to be governor, not over the state of Arizona.
No, we have way too much common sense. And the ones who do, because, you know, I even dated a teacher. It didn't work out that well, but I dated a teacher in Arizona. And guess what? He was a Democrat and he also had a gun. So this ain't just Republicans or independents who love their guns in Arizona. It's a lot of Arizonans. So thank you for tuning in. Like I said, November 8th is coming. Wherever state you live in, vote with the policy. Vote with policies. Don't vote with your emotions. And if you know you have politicians out there who are willing to, in my opinion, commit treason by taking away your rights, whether that be freedom of speech, your right to bear arms, the right to be securing your own papers, anything like, like that, do not elect them. Those people are the devil and how they're, why they're changing and the way that they're trying to, um, promote why they're changing these or why they want to limit some of our rights. They're saying that it's for the betterment of mankind. No, the hell it's not. So be wise. Don't be a sheeple. Think critically think. And you know, without further ado, thank you. Have a nice day. Um, like share and subscribe. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs>